Welcome back to Endless Optimism, your endless source of optimism. My name is Fiona, and today we'll be talking about the eight deadliest animals in North America. Number one, killer bees. Biologist Warwick E. Kerr wanted to create a hybrid bee that would produce more honey. So he crossbred European species with African ones. The result was the emergence of Africanized bees, better known as killer bee. The killer bees are a ruthless, expansionist, invasive species, tending to displace less violent species of bees wherever they go. And they're equally ruthless when it comes to protecting their hives. European bees have been selectively bred for centuries by beekeepers who weeded out the more aggressive varieties to make them more pliable. But there is no comparable history of human influence in African bees. As a result, Africanized bees are far more likely to attack any perceived threat, humans included. They will swarm intruders, attacking in relentless droves and have been known to chase humans down for a third of a mile or more. They have killed perhaps 1,000 people in this manner in recent decades. Number two, grizzly bears. Grizzly bears are a subset of brown bears that range from Alaska, Western Canada and into American Northwest. Females tip the scales at 500 pounds, while males can weigh up to 900 pounds, even more. Armed with large, powerful bodies and razor-sharp claws. We shouldn't have to tell you to tread lightly around grizzlies. On average, there are three fatal bear attacks every year in the US. Females carry out most grizzly attacks on humans when they have cubs. You should never, ever approach a bear with cubs. She will do anything to protect them. Number three, American bison. You won't have a hard time identifying an American bison. Weighing as much as 2,000 pounds, American bisons can jump six feet into the air and capable of charging at 40 miles an hour. Something tells us you'll know one when you see it. Bison is one of the most dangerous animals in North America. They're the deadliest thing you're likely to encounter in a national park. A bison will attack humans if provoked. The bison's safety is mostly common sense. Never approach them on foot and don't get closer than 330 feet or so under any circumstances even if you're in a vehicle. If you happen upon bison while hiking, give them a wide berth. Number four, alligators and crocodiles. Crocodiles are ancient, androit apex predators. They can grow as long as 20 feet and weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. Anything that moves around their patch of river or swampland is a potential meal, and that certainly includes humans. American alligators are smaller, maxing out at 15 feet and 1,000 pounds. But on this scale, what's the difference? Crocodiles may be bigger and nastier, but they're also restricted to Florida Everglades and the extreme south of Mexico. Alligators, on the other hand, range from southeast Texas to North Carolina. Even a partial list of fatal alligator attacks paints a horrifying picture. Alligator attacks may be rare and seem to result from the beasts mistaking humans for other prey, but they can still be deadly. Number five, sharks. For the most part, North America is less dangerous than other regions. We don't have the most venomous species or the most gargantuan species. In general, our continent is quite friendly to human settlement. It's no wonder shark attacks are so common in the US. Great whites, tiger sharks and bull sharks can all be found off North America's coast. Bull 
whale sharks are also known to lurk in the Mississippi, swimming as far inland as Illinois. Sharks don't usually eat humans. Since we make a pretty little supper for their size predator, most shark attacks are just reconnaissance. The shark wants to know what you are, so it takes a bite of you. Most likely, it will then decide that you're not worth the trouble and move on. Of course, a playful nibble from a shark can be lethal to a human. Number 6. Arizona Bark Scorpion as you might expect. These little critters are found in the Sonoran Desert, in the southwestern US and Mexico. Although all scorpions can deliver venomous stings, the Arizonian bark scorpion is the most dangerous in North America. Bark scorpions are commonly found in the moisture regions of the desert, such as riverbeds. They are increasingly common in residential areas as well, which raises the probability of altercations with humans. Brown or light brown, about three inches end to end, bark scorpions are mostly nocturnal. Like many other scorpions though, you can find them in the dark using special flashlights because they glow under UV light. Number seven, rattlesnakes. One reason rattlesnakes rank so highly is their enormous range. You can find them almost anywhere in the Americas, from British Columbia to Argentina. But the highest concentration is in the American Southwest and Mexico. Another reason rattlesnakes are dangerous and becoming more so is our behavior. These snakes try to avoid heavily populated areas but human expansion has led to extermination campaigns against them. This selective pressure has increased the number of snakes who will strike out at humans without issuing their classic rattle warning. Half of the attacks are more the fault of the person than the snake. Many victims are drunk young men who went out of their way to start something. So, if you see a rattler, no matter how many drinks you've had, don't approach it, don't try to touch it, and don't poke it. It's important to know that rattlesnake heads continue to be dangerous, even after decapitation. They may continue to be alive and alert and capable of biting for up to an hour. Number eight. Black Widow Spider Black Widow Venom is a neurotoxin that attacks the nerves. This venom tends to cause severe local pain and cramping starting 10 to 15 minutes after the bite. That said, bite marks may not be visible. Another peculiar symptom of envenomation is profuse sweating, sometimes only on the bite's limb. It's worth noting that black widows are shy and generally don't want to attack you. Humans accidentally provoke most bites. Black widows are especially common in grape growing regions. So watch out for them on your next vineyard tour. If you have any awesome animal footage you would like to share with us, Email us with the footage at the email in the description below and we might put it in our next video. We'll see you in our next video.